How's your beard hanging everybody? It's Polo Tato with a now with beards. And we're back at Stardew Valley. We are on the second day of summer. Um, basically not much has been going on. And in this video I'm going to tell you there's a whole lot of nothing going on. So basically there's a lot of places I'm just going to speed through super fast. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all that's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of super fast play. You can see what I do, but... Um, I'm just gonna use the time during this video to uh, talk about, you know, what do you think about the uh, news that I released the other day about the update that's coming to Stardew Valley and uh, the possibilities of it. What do you think's coming out? What do you hope is coming out, etc. Um, but before that, this sounds so much like Nightcore. It is wonderful. I am I am a fan that this is going into Stardew Valley Nightcore mode. But basically, there's a big uh, thing about people being upset about, I guess, Shane is going to become a bachelor and no one really likes Shane. They're fine with Emily becoming a bachelorette, and I can see that. I think Emily's a really nice character. And honestly, if she would have been available whenever I was doing my first playthrough, because I block record this. Um, some of my files don't have audio, um, because, you know, by playing, you can kind of tell what you're going to be doing the next couple days in-game. So if I know I'm just going to be doing meaningless stuff like this, I don't record audio while I record it, and I go back and record over. Um, but the rest of the time, I, I do a mix of uh, live recording and um, dubbing. So, you know, it just depends. No, on a normal video that I'm actually doing stuff, but I'm fast-forwarding through the other thing, I record my audio separately, and then I put them together. Uh, so what I'll usually do is cut the audio out of my sped-up scenes, and then just dub over that area. But anyway, so, but yeah, if, um, I wouldn't have ended up with a, a certain character already, I would have preferred to be with Emily. I like her as a character a little bit more than this person. But at the same time, this person is good too. So, but what are your thoughts on that? I mean, are you one of the Shane haters out there, or are you good with Shane? Um... You know, do you enjoy Shane? Do you think that he's misunderstood? Do you think that he's just the brooding character? That he is the Ryan Gosling of Stardew Valley? Uh, let me know. In the comments below, go ahead and comment about it. Actually, do more than just comment about that. Like, let me know your thoughts on Shane and Emily, and then tell me your favorite Bachelor or Bachelorettes. Let me know. I'd like to know from you if, you know, if you're playing the game, where you're at, your thoughts on you know, the dating and all this other stuff, just let me know. I like to hear from my fans, and you guys never talk to me. Ever. A few of you talk to me on Facebook, and a few of you talk to me on Twitter, but the rest of you guys are silent. You need to stop that. Okay, I see I get views. It's a very minuscule amount, but I get views, and you don't say anything. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. My little tangent! But, um... Yeah, so that's one of the things that I was wondering about, and all this wanting to know what y'all think. Um, aside from that, new products coming out. I mean, I know for sure that there will be coffee plants, because the screenshot released, um... showed coffee being brewed in kegs. So, for the coffee to be brewed in kegs, that means there has to be a way to get coffee. So that probably means coffee plants where you get the beans. I can't be positive, but that's kind of how logic in the world works. But you never know, it may end up being a wild plant, or maybe because of the conditions it grows in the desert, or else maybe there's extra places that are coming along, and it grows, and... You know, you never know. There, there could be so much more added to this. 
And the fact that Concerned Ape is still going at it and making more and adding multiplayer and playing on console ports and all this, I really think that this is going to be an ongoing game for a while. So, I mean, let's let's hope that it is. Um, and speaking of farming games like this, if you're a fan of the Harvest Moon series and the Story of Seasons series, which I am, which is what got me into Stardew Valley, um, have you? Has anyone been keeping up with the fact that there's actually going to be a Story of Seasons 2 being released in Japan very shortly? And but I have seen no news about a U.S. port, and I'm really hoping there's a U.S. port. The only thing that worries me about it is that um, there's a special animal from another video game series and anime series. And that's they're adding Hamtaro the hamster. And apparently he just runs around with you. I don't know. I'm just worried about that. So, let me know your thoughts about that too. And if you have any news. Oh, looks like I'm going here at the community center. What am I doing here? Oh, those grapes go in there. I completed a bundle! Bundle, bundle, bundle. Ah, oh, I got summer seeds. That is great. Oh, my dogs are trying to come to me because they thought I was yelling tumble, which is one of their names. Which is... It's... That's not what I was doing. I was not yelling tumble. I was yelling bundle. They need to learn how to speak English. You darn German foreign dogs. I'm kidding. That's nobody needs to have to learn to speak English. They it should not be a requirement anywhere. Nor should the learning to speak any language. It's suggested though, but it shouldn't be a requirement. Anybody can live anywhere. That's just how things should be. But let's see. Um, back to Stardew Valley's new product. Sorry. So I know about that. Um, I do know that finally you'll be able to put void eggs in the mayonnaise maker and get void mayonnaise, which is going to be great. I hope it sells for the same or more than duck mayonnaise, and I hope that there's like more things to do with the void mayonnaise, void eggs than give them to the little dude in the sewer and Sebastian. Because Sebastian likes them because they're the only thing darker than his heart. Darker, blacker. I because he's the little emo guy, not not because of anything else. Oh God, I feel like I've talked myself into a horrible, horrible area. People are going to swear I, I, I was being racist, and I'm not, because Sebastian's from a previous marriage. It has nothing to do with Dimitri. Oh God, oh God, no, I failed. Oh, my YouTube career is over before it even took off. This is horrible. I've messed up so badly. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm over it. Okay, now then. We're gonna buy a silo, too. But, so the void mana is, and also... Mushroom logs. I saw mushroom logs. I know that there will be a big log that you can grow mushrooms in, and I am excited about that one too, because I actually want to grow the mushrooms. The cave is nice for the randoms and everything, and that's that's great. I, I like the randoms. That's not, that's not a big deal for the randoms, but, you know, I want to try to grow specific mushrooms so I can make my life potions, because I need my life potions. Okay. I mean, I needs them life potions. So let's see. I'm looking here to see if I can make anything worth anything, and I can't. So I'm gonna probably put it back in super speed mode here in a little bit. But that's the basis of everything that I'm thinking of and going through right now. Is what are your thoughts on the update? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm actually gonna end this here. So, 
Yeah, if you liked it, smash the like button. Subscribe, share this with people who you think would enjoy it. And remember that it is the beard on the inside. I messed up my own slogan again. Gosh, why do I keep messing this up? It's not the beard on the outside, but the beard on the inside that counts. Jesus. This is Potato. I'm out. Okay, I may have cut my outro a bit short. So, but yeah, back to the whole thing. Um, I'm not redoing my outro, but uh, no one ever talks to me, so leave comments. I see you viewing. I reply to my comments. You should leave comments. Comments. Also, if the audio on this is buggy, I'm sorry. I've tried with four different programs. I can't fix it. So... I apologize. Okay. Wow, this is really going long. It was showing that it was running into my outro video earlier. I don't I don't know what's happening. Maybe I should add the outro after I do my vocals from now on. That'd probably be best, don't you think? Hey, watch me screw up here. Okay, you know what? I'll do the outro one more time. Hey! Remember, it is the beard on... I messed up again! It's the beard on the inside that counts. That's all that matters. It's your inner beard. That's the moral of the story. Okay, potato out. Be blessed. I haven't slept in 36 hours. Hey, since you're still here, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, on the left-hand side, you can see videos playing. They take you to more great videos. Now then, we have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash andnowwithbeard. Twitter, which is at andnowwithbeard. Google+, and please remember that we are powered by freedom. <laughs>